To have a safe holiday season, please follow these important safety tips about Christmas trees. Do not purchase a tree that is already dry or dropping needles. Place your tree in a sturdy tree stand designed not to tip over. Keep live trees moist by giving them plenty of water daily. When decorating your tree, always use lights that are in good working order and free of defects. Connect no more than three strands together designed for indoor use. Always unplug tree lights before leaving home or going to bed. Never use candles to decorate a tree. Make sure any lit candles in the room are placed well away from tree branches. Make sure the tree is at least three feet away from any heat source, such as a fireplace or heater. Children are fascinated with Christmas trees. Keep a watchful eye on children when around the tree and do not let them play with the wiring or lights. And lastly, safely recycle your tree when it begins dropping needles or as soon as possible after Christmas. Dried out trees are highly flammable and should not be left in the house or garage. This message has been a public service announcement brought to you by the Monterey County Fire Investigators Association with assistance from the National Institute of Standards and Technology. Have a happy and safe holiday season. Investigators are trying to figure out what caused the fire that ripped through Midland County on Saturday, destroying almost 40 homes and leaving dozens of people to deal with the destruction. CBS 7's Mayron Berkson is out at one of those charred sites to tell us just how fire officials believe this weekend's blaze started. Mayron? Thousands of acres burnt in a fire that left over 30 families without homes. And today, authorities are saying that the fire could have started from a single cigarette. It's just getting drier every day. So any kind of a spark into the ground can set these grass on fire. Midland County Fire Marshal Dale Little is still dealing with the aftermath of the weekend 16,000 plus acre fire that left many families without a home. And the probable causes of the raging flames are shocking. They found on the fire that started on FM 3503, probably some metal fell off of a truck. On the fire that started on 1788, which the two fires did burn together, the, they looked at the areas, they've got all of the information, and it's very, very possible that it was a start from a cigarette. Uh, they have enough information that they believe that that is the, poss the possible start. And Little's advice to residents in these dangerous conditions. Well, tell people be careful. They need to be extremely careful. The problem we got is people get real relaxed. We have burn bans on. Now we spoke with residents in the area to see how they felt about the news about the cigarettes starting the fire and we'll have their reactions at 10 o'clock. Reporting in Midland County, Mayron Berkson, CBS 7 News.